Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. Let's now take you to the costs. And even with the strides being made in the judiciary by establishment of new and modern courts, a section of residents in Kilifi still believe in the olden traditional courts where a council of elders passed the verdict and judgment. At Rabai, there is such a traditional court where our reporter Tobias Chanji witnessed a verdict being passed on a man that was accused of eloping with someone's wife. Take a look. At Mwembe wa Marunga, things seem to have gone haywire for one Mwabaya, who is accused of eloping with Malombo Fondo whilst he is married to one Asha Jumwa. We arrive on location when the court is about to start. Everyone is told to remove their shoes. We are not going to get out of here. We are going to get out of here. We are going to get out of here. There are no chairs and we have to perch ourselves on these coconut tree leaf stalks. This comes with its own style of sitting. When the court session is called to order, Ashajuma makes a submission. She claims she has proof that her husband is seeing another woman, Malombo Fondo. Malombo Fondo, who is also married, is cornered. She says she gave in after Mwabaya, promised to buy her new clothes something that her husband had neglected. Mwabaya, the cornered culprit, is forced to give in and own up to the mistake. The traditional court continues this way with both sides making submissions. The jury, who are the elders, interject once in a while. When one person is speaking, no interruption is allowed. The accused are given time to answer. When it's time for Malombo's husband to present his side of the case, he asks for 8,000 shillings as fine from Mwabaya. Before the court gives a verdict, they break to factions to deliberate on their matter. They later come with an agreement of charging the accused a fine of 6,000 shillings. Kwa wakati huu wa leo, alikuwa hanayo, akaweza kueka muda wa miezi miwili, E, ndiyo aweze kutafuta ile malu ambao ni makosa ambapo si sawa lakini tuliweza kwa hali ya kuleta amani the court usually meets on mondays to preside on civil cases like marriages initially they were meeting on sundays and presided over even criminal cases like the rampant killings of the elderly in this area kesi ambazo zilikuwa zinakuwa nyingi hapa ni za kushutumiana kuwa fulani ni mchawi Eh? na huo uchawi tuliwaangalia si uchawi kama mtoto wako anataka pikipiki anakusihi baba uuze kipande cha shamba ili apate kununuliwa pikipiki wewe ukikataa tu akwambia baba wewe hutaki maendeleo wewe ni mchawi ni watu ambao ameteta majumbani hawasikizani mtu ambaye anaingilia na nyumba ya mtu if an accused does not honor the ruling such as paying a fine then the law takes its cause and the cases are forwarded to the assistant chiefs inaongozwa na watu wanaitwa walhiere alafu kuna muviri alafu kuna muhahu alafu kuna bora kuna mvaya kuna namsavula alafu kuna hawa kina mama tunawaita ni wanguji sasa ni serikali ya mrabai the judgment and verdict passed is a perfect example that justice cannot only be found in the precincts of courts, but anywhere, as long as there's that goodwill. Tobias Chanji, KTN.